Hey guys, I feel like a lot of people end up asking themselves, how do they stop themselves from getting bored of Minecraft so quickly? And honestly, that's a little bit more difficult of a question to answer than what a lot of YouTubers seem to make you think it is. But regardless of this, let's go over a couple ways you can keep yourself from getting bored in your Minecraft worlds. To illustrate my first point, I've actually opened up a world in Bedrock Edition. And this world is actually one you guys have never seen on this channel before. This is actually the Minecraft Realms world that me and a couple of my friends from high school used to play on a couple years ago and as you can tell it's really unfinished and in all honesty the reason it's unfinished is because we got bored of it and stopped playing now this isn't to say we all decided at the exact same time to stop playing a couple of people lost interest first and then a couple of us kept playing but as we kept losing players we kept losing motivation to keep working and we ended up with this unfinished base in our realm which could have had a massive amount of potential. The point I'm trying to make here is if you get your motivation for playing Minecraft from playing with other people, make sure the people you choose to start worlds with or SMPs are also just as motivated as you and are also in it for the long run as much as you. Find people you want to play with who have common goals as you. For example, we all decided to build this one large community base and we would all share the space together. You might choose to let everybody have their own bases farther apart from each other and still interact with each other, but let you guys do your own thing. So find people who share the same kind of play style as you, even if you're more of a redstone person while they're more of a builder, for example, if you guys both have the same common goals, it can make the experience of playing together even better. The next tip I have for you today is to give yourself projects in between whatever primary things you're working on, whether it's your house, your base, or anything else. And the reason for that is it gives you a chance to distract yourself for a little bit, but still make progress on your world. For example, in between us working on that base right over there, I built this iron farm so we could have extra resources to help us in the construction of that. So anything you can do to aid yourself in your other projects is absolutely going to be worth it in the long term. And at the same time, you can still have fun doing it. Another tip I have for you is to never be afraid to revisit old builds. And to illustrate this point, this is the house that I built in my personal single player survival world. I built it several, several months ago. And even a few months after that, after I had not really done anything else to this house, I added on this downstairs storage room. And I didn't have any plans to work on this house anymore from what I already did, because I was planning on moving to a base farther over that way. But I decided I wanted to keep working on the house a little bit more, add a little bit more something to it, and in the process it also gave me some creative video about. So never be afraid to work on something or add on to it that you've worked on previously. Another tip I have for you, and this may seem sort of redundant considering it's Minecraft, but really the key to all of this is to just keep building more. If you are fresh out of ideas, literally just Google ideas for Minecraft builds and you will find literally thousands of different potential options, all of which you can customize and create to make it fit what you prefer in your style of building. And the sort of second benefit to this is through building more often, you also get more experience with building, which will lead to you getting better at building itself. And if you aren't super confident at building yet, I actually have a video on my channel going over five tips to help you improve your Minecraft building skills. Feel free to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. My fifth and final tip for today, which might come as a little bit of a surprise, is actually to make content for Minecraft. It doesn't necessarily have to be something like a YouTube video if you prefer doing something like Instagram posts of pictures of your builds or whatever it might be. Look into creating content with the work you put into your Minecraft world because I guarantee you there will be people out there who appreciate it and they can actually push you and motivate you to keep improving on whatever world you might be in or whatever build you're working on. I feel like I'm actually a prime example of this. I have a massive list of ideas for this world that I've come up with just because of the comments I've gotten in my YouTube videos. And on top of all of that, you also get the additional incentive of increasing your amount of followers, or in my case, subscribers. Intent. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little set of tricks, some ideas to help you stay motivated. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Or let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on other things you want advice with as well with Minecraft.